Hi everyone, welcome to class. My name is Kendra and I'm teaching from San Francisco, California. Today's class is Everyday Idioms number 16 and it's entitled Relationship Sours. Um, so this is a series of 20 courses or 20 lessons and um, I just taught number 14 and number 15 these past two hours. And if you've missed um, any or all of the classes, that's quite all right. You can still join this one. Um, it's going to be about the two main characters, John and Amy. And first, John and Amy, let me give you a summary of their story. They meet at a video store. They're, they are strangers, and they're both renting movies, and they are talking to one another, getting movie recommendations. And it's during this Oh, I see some students in the chat box right now um, that cannot add the class, and that is because um, the first few minutes of class are reserved for premium account users. So in a few minutes, everyone will be able to add. So just hang in there, just a couple more minutes. Um, okay, so back to John and Amy. They meet at a video store. They start chatting. They're really hitting it off. And at the end of the conversation, John asks for Amy's phone number. And then later, in another lesson, he calls her and he asks her out on a date. And then in another lesson, they go on their first date at an Italian restaurant called Roberto's. And throughout the lessons, um, they start hanging out more. Uh, John helps Amy prepare for her math exam. They hang out with friends. They get away. They go camping one weekend, and they're, they tell each other that they love one another. So they're falling in love with each other. And then um, in these most recent lessons, we come to find out that John accidentally forgets their one-year anniversary. And Amy is very upset about it. And she just can't believe it that he forgot a very important date in their relationship. So in this, in this lesson, we're going to learn that their relationship starts to take a turn for the worse because of John's mistake, because he forgot their important anniversary. Okay, so it looks like students are filling up the class now. I'd like to go around and have everyone introduce themselves and say where you're from. So I'll start first. My name is Kendra, and I'm a verbling teacher, and I'm from San Francisco, California. Let's start with the first student, Ahmed. Hi there. Hi, hello. Nice to have you again. Ahmed was in the previous class. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Syria, but I live in Saudi Arabia. Great. And then we have Amar. Amar was also in the first two classes of today. Could you tell yeah. the class where you're from? I'm uh, Amar from uh, Saudi Arabia. Great, excellent. And then we have Ash. Hi, Ash. Yeah. Hi. Good. Oh, How are you? I think you were in my class yesterday. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm Aslan. I'm from Turkey. From Turkey. Okay, great. Thank you for joining. Yes. And then we have um, Fusai. Yes, this is Faisal. I'm from Yemen. Or Faisal. From Yemen. Oh, you're my first Yemen student. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Florencia. Yes. Hi. You um, were just in my class. Yes. Nice uh, to see you again. Thanks. Um, mm -hmm. I'm from Argentina, Buenos Aires. Good. Okay. And then we have, um, is it Hoger? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. Hi. Hi, Hoger. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Iraq. From Iraq. Okay. Good. And then we have uh, Leila. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey there. Uh, Where I'm are you Leila. from? Uh, I am from Azerbaijan. <laughs> Good. And then we have, um, let's see, uh, Paulina. <coughs> Paulina? Oh, Paulina, I can't hear you. Can you turn your microphone on? I still can't. Can anyone hear Paulina? 
No, no. we can't. No. no, we can't. Okay, Paulina, can you fix your microphone? I think you might be on mute. We'll go back to Paulina as she fixes her microphone. What about Yasin? Hello again. I'm I'm Hi. Yasin from Turkey. Hi. Yasin has been in many of these everyday idioms lessons. Nice to have you. Yeah, me too. Good. All right, let's go back. Paulina, can you hear us? Unfortunately, we can't hear you. Can you turn your microphone on? Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to go on. So I'm going to share the link um, that we're going to be using in class. I'll write it in the Verbling chat and the Google chat. Here's the document we'll be using if you want to open it up. And I'll also screen share it right now. There we go. All right. So can everyone view this on the screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. I think one of the best ways to build fluency is to practice speaking. So every, every lesson I always ask five questions and I ask every single student to answer all five. So everyone has equal opportunity and chances to practice. I think it's really important. So we'll start with number one. Um, who do you talk to about your problems? Let's start with you, Ahmed. Who do you confide in? Who do you go to for advice when you talk about your problems? Uh, I'm talking with my mother always. Yeah? Okay, good. What about you, Amar? Who do you talk to about your problems? Yeah, I have w one friend for the problem. Pardon? A uh, uh, friend. I talk to friends. Oh, okay, you talk to friends about your problems. Good. What about you, Ash? Who do you talk to about your problems? Uh, of course, my friend, uh, but sometimes my grandmother, uh, because she uh, can think uh, like uh, as a teenager, and she can advise about my problem. Good. And what about you, uh, Fasal? Yeah, uh, sure, it will be with my family. Uh, your family, good. Yeah. And what about you, Florencia? Um, usually to some friends and maybe some relatives like my aunt. Good. And Hogar? Oh, Hogar? Okay. Uh, I, uh, I'm talking... Uh, <coughs> so who, who do you talk to? When you have problems, who do you go to for advice? My my family. Good, your family. All right, the next student, um, Layla. Yes. Um, actually, my sister. Your sister. Good. So you talk to your siblings, and Paulina. Paulina. Hmm, still can't hear. Let's go to Yasin. Yes, uh, I talk about with my family about my program. Good. You confide in your family. You get their their advice. Excellent. Let's yeah. go to number two. Why is that person a good person to talk to? So the person that you mentioned for the answer for number one, why are they a good person to talk to? Ahmed. Uh, my mother actually. Uh, she keeps secrets and she knows how to fix it. Good, good. So she's trustworthy and she, yes. she gives good advice. Yes. Excellent. What about Amar? Why is the person you mentioned that you, you talk to your problem, you talk about problems with your friends? Why are your friends good people to talk to? Yeah, the, uh, I actually talk to one friend only. Because mm -hmm. I don't uh, want to all my f friend uh, know about my problem. Right, you don't want uh, everyone to know about it, so you just yeah. confide in your best friend. Yeah, and he uh, uh, really uh, w uh, know how to keep a, a secret. Good. So he's yeah. trustworthy too. He can keep a secret. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What about you, Ash? Mm. Uh, my friends uh, usually uh, can uh, show me truth uh, and 
sometimes my grandmother can has a knowledge about life. Good. And what about you, uh, Fasal? Yeah, I uh, myself was my family, and I think uh, they will work on to find a solution for me to facilitate the problem and uh, to make it more simple. Good. And Florencia. Um, well, to my best friend because uh, she's honest and she won't tell me what I want to hear, but she will tell me what she really thinks, and that really helps. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, so usually that's why you choose your best friends, is because they're honest people, and when you need yes. honest advice, you know who to go to. Yes. Good. What about you, Holger? I think you mentioned that you go to your family when you have problems, and why, why is that a, why are they the best people to talk to? Hoger? Oh. I don't know. Hoger, can you hear me? Yes. So I think you mentioned that you go to your family when you need to talk about your problems. And why are they good people to talk to? Uh, actually, my mother and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes my friend. My friend, my best friend. Okay, and why is your mother or your best friend good people to talk to? Because, because why? Because uh, he is science there. What was that? Because... Hoger? She has... Okay, let's move on to the next student. Layla. Yeah. Um, my sister does say that uh, because uh, she can explain all the things and uh, she give, um, gives me the advice and uh, she can show me all the good ways. Good. So she's, she's pretty wise. She's able to point you in the right direction and advise you. Yeah. Yes. Good. All right. What about um, we have uh, Adin? Now let's see. Self Adin, who just added. Can you hear me? Mm, I can't hear him. Let's go to Yasin. Yasin. Okay. Uh, my family is all me very well. Your your family. It's who you go to, and why are they good people to talk to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yasin, why is your family good people to talk to? Because uh, they are uh, know me. Aha! Uh -huh, because they know you. They're very familiar with you. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, let's go back to the new student that just added Ada. Hi, Ada. Can you hear me? Ada? Ada, can you hear me? We can't hear you. Could you turn your mic on? I think it might be on mute. Ada, microphone notch. Ada, can you unmute your microphone? Okay, we'll go back to her. Let's go on to number three. What kinds of problems do you share with other people? And let's answer number four at the same time, too. What kinds of problems do you keep to yourself? So which ones do you share and which ones do you keep personal? Let's start with Ahmed. Uh, actually, for number three, I share uh, the small problems and the tiny problems, and not uh, private problems. Oh, okay. And what's the difference between small problems and, and big problems? What's a small problem to you and what's a big problem? Small problems like a question in any subject in the school. Uh, if I don't understand it, I go uh, ask anyone who knows the answer. 
Okay, gotcha. And Amar, what kind of problems do you share with others, and what kind of problems do you keep to yourself? I I keep uh, to myself the personal uh, okay. problem and uh, share uh, the problem. Uh, maybe I have a problem with my car, with my phone, with my computer, with uh, anything uh, uh, else. But the personal uh, thing, I keep it to, to myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. What about you, Ash? What kind of problems do you share with others, and what problems do you keep to yourself? Of course, I share my daily problems about life, uh, about school or uh, my friends, uh, but mm -hmm. I don't want to share my fear and high hopes, because uh, when I uh, am disappointed, uh, I uh, don't want to uh, make a fool of uh, myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. Okay, let's see if Ada got her microphone working. Ada, can you hear us? No, I don't think so. All right, let's move on to um, Fasal. Yeah. What kind of problems do you share with others, and what problems do you keep to yourselves? Mm -hmm. I think it uh, would not be a problem, but um, maybe I'm looking for uh, advice. So uh, if it depends on, for example, a new step I would take. So I'm looking for their experience to give me a push to uh, to start or to, you know, just as an advice. Good. Well, let's move on to Florencia. What kind of problems do you share with others? And what, which ones do you keep to yourself? Um, well, where when problems or things are just personal uh, I prefer to give them to myself um, but maybe when I have to take a decision or to make a decision about something uh, I like to have different opinions mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, it's also difficult because maybe uh, you make a decision that it's uh, opposed to what someone told you to do and then it's like uh, if you fail they will be there like I told you not to do so Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's always the hardest thing to hear when someone says, "I told you so," and you know yes. that they're right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What about you, Layla? What kind of problems do you share with other people, and what kind of problems do you keep for yourself or keep to yourself? Um. um generally, uh, I um, talk with my sisters or my uh, family, um, a number of family. Uh, when I uh, feeling bad, badly, uh -huh. uh, but um, I haven't. Um, I don't have the many problems. Just like that. Good. All right. Let's try uh, self Adin or or safe. Yes, uh, I am safe. Hi, safe. We can hear you now. Where are you from? Uh, I am from uh, Tunisia. Pardon. Tunisia, Tunisia. Ah, Tunisia. Cool. I've never yes. had a student from there before. Awesome. Welcome to class. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Number three and number four. What kind of problems do you share with other people? And what kind of problems do you keep to yourself? Okay. Number three. Uh, what kind of problems do you share with other people? Uh, sometimes uh, I share uh, my uh, I share my problems with uh, my fr with my friends. And sometimes I didn't share. Uh, if I have a family problem, uh, I will not share uh, with my friends. Uh, but uh, I can share um, uh, the problem uh, of uh, my other friend or uh, the problem uh, at the work uh, or uh, problem with uh, my relation. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yes, that's, uh, that's all. Good. What about you, Yasin? What kind of problems do you share with other people, and what kind of problems do you keep to yourself? Uh, I share only uh, my small small problems. Uh, I don't share uh, big problems because uh, big problems is uh, a special uh, me. It's oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So let's go to number five. What is the best advice you've ever got from someone? The best piece of advice. 
Let's start. Oh, we have a new student, Abdallah. Yes, do you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. How are you? Where are you from? I am from Morocco. I'm fine. Morocco, cool. Yes. All right, so number close five. Close to Tunisia. It's close to Tunisia. Cool. You guys are neighbors. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is my brother. Yes, and uh, yes. also him. <laughs> Good. Yes. What is the best advice you ever got from someone? The best advice is to to keep personal problems uh, in private. That's uh, you must don't share them with the uh, unknown people. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, keep your and personal problems to yourself. Good. What else? Yes. yes. And uh, also, uh, you got you got to find a, a trusted person to share the other problems with, uh, in order mm. to get the be the best solution. Good. So you have to trust others. Good. Yes. What about you, Ahmed? What's the best piece of advice you'd ever received? Actually, I got a lot of advices, but the most important one is to learn from your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Yes, that's a very good one. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you learn from your mistakes? Absolutely. Good. All right, what about you, Omar? What is the best piece of advice? Don't quit. Always try. Mm -hmm. Never quit. Always yeah. work, work as hard as you can. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a word in English called perseverance. I'm going to write it in the perseverance. I'm going to write it in the verbling chat right now. Perseverance means to never give up, to try your best and hardest every single day. Good. All right. What about Ash? What is the best advice you've ever, you've ever got from someone? I have no special uh, statement about this, but uh, my mom says always uh, don't trust anyone who have met newly. Don't trust anyone who what? Who have met. Or oh. no. Wait, sorry. Uh, what, one more time, I couldn't hear you. Don't trust anyone who... Who uh, have known. Um, who have could... met. Mm, can you write it in the verbling chat? I just can't okay. understand the okay. last word you're okay. saying. Okay. Thank you. I think uh, she uh, meant uh, you just met. Yes, yes. Unknown. Oh, yeah, you know. right. Don't. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. We have that phrase in English too. Don't don't trust anyone that you just met. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, because there's a, they are a total stranger to you, so you can't put 100% confidence and trust in them because mm -hmm. they might do something to you. Mm hmm. Good. All right. Let's see, uh, Ada, can you hear us? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're still figuring it out. Okay, uh, let's go to Florencia. What is uh, the yeah. advice you've ever given or you've ever received? In fact, it's a more uh, well known phrase and it's uh, talent is luck. Uh, the important thing in life is courage. Um, Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, it really helps me every time that I feel like down and like not wanting to do something or disappointed. It's mm -hmm. like really useful. Yeah. Ooh, could you write that in the verbling chat? I really like that that piece yes. of advice. Thank you. All right, let's move on to oh, the welcome. next student. Layla, what is the best advice you ever got from someone? Um, before I got uh, best advice from my father. Uh, to for choosing the faculty of university. Uh huh. Um, yes. And um, what did he say to you? Uh, what? What was the advice that he gave you when you were choosing your your studies? Uh, yes. Um. Uh, this is um politics. Uh, that uh, my um fathers. Uh, give me uh, gave me the advice that uh, this is faculty is the better. Uh, so uh, I love my faculty and my university. Oh, good. So he steered you in the right direction, choosing a career path and a school. And good, good, excellent. What about you, Saif? Mm -hmm. uh, the best advice. Um, uh, it's uh, from uh, from someone who uh, from my friend uh, who advised me to uh, study English and to uh, to learn uh, English 
Mm-hmm. And the second advice is from Leila, because uh, she t- uh, she told uh, she told me to join uh, Verbling. Verbling. Oh, good. So <laughs> Leila and Saif, you guys know each other? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. That was great advice. Good job, Leila. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what about you, Yasin? What's the best advice you ever got from someone? Uh, 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 no, no, nobody. Uh, uh, nobody. Uh, nobody never say uh, best advice. Wait, what did you say? Uh, nobody, uh, nobody say uh, best advice to me. Oh no, you haven't gotten any good advice your whole life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, no. remember. I don't. I, in fact, I don't remember now. Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe your birth don't need advice. Yeah. Okay. No, so there is no one. There is no one perfect. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's some good advice too. Yeah. Good. And uh, another advice that uh, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. That's very good advice. Yes. Because if. And try always. Try always to figure out how to solve a problem and uh, to to be a man in war. Or mm-hmm. to, to fight mm-hmm. problems, not to just uh, get behind and uh, see what happened. You mm-hmm. just you got to participate and uh, to be uh, to be motivated to find uh, a solution, not just only to watch. Good. This is all really great advice. Awesome. Okay. So now let's move on to the dialogue below. So this is a dialogue between Andrew and John, and remember that the title of this lesson is called Relationship Sours, because recently John, who's dating Amy, he accidentally forgot his one-year anniversary, his first anniversary with her. And so things are on the rocks. That means that things are, are not looking so good between John and Amy at this point. So John calls up Andrew, his best friend, and here's the dialogue. The words that are bolded, these are the idioms that we're going to be reviewing, okay? Excuse so me. Oh, yeah. Uh, what does sour mean? Is it the taste? <laughs> it is, yeah. So when something is sour, it's like a lemon. It's really tart. It's very sour. It makes your face pucker. Mm. Um, and then in this case, when something goes sour, it means that it kind of goes rotten. It's not smoothly. It's, uh-uh, no, it's it's going very badly if something goes sour. Yeah, so here, um, John and Amy, their relationship is starting to sour, which is not in, a good thing. It's worst. Yeah, it's getting worse. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to read aloud this dialogue first. And again, the, the bolded words, these are the idioms. Okay, so listen to my pronunciation. Andrew. Hello, John. Andrew, hi, it's John. Andrew, hey, what's shaking? John, not much. Andrew, you sound down. Do you want to get it off your chest? John, yeah, I need to bend your ear. Andrew, what's the matter? John, things aren't going well with Amy. I think I broke her heart. Andrew, what did you do? John, I forgot her anniversary. She got really worked up about it. Andrew, oh man, so what happened? Did she get over it? John, well, I took her out to dinner the next night. Andrew, and how did it go? John, it was okay, but things have a different feel now. I don't have high hopes. Andrew, I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hang in there. Does anyone have any questions about the dialogue or the idioms? Bend your ear. Yeah, I need to bend your ear. So that means that I I need to... Talk about the problem? uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. I need to um, talk about my problem. I need need your ear to... um, need to talk to someone and I have great eagerness or I have a favor to ask of you. I need to bend your ear. 
I need you to listen to me. To listen carefully. Uh huh. To listen carefully. Yeah. And if someone says, "I need to bend your ear," they might they might need to talk to you for a really long time. For instance, like a whole hour. Like I need to sit down with you and I need to bend your ear. I need to talk your ear off for one whole hour and tell you everything. Good. What other questions do you have? We say we say what's shaking? Is that mean what the matter? No. So what's shaking? That means what's up? How's it going? Uh, what's going on? Mm -hmm. What's shaking? Sometimes um, for fun, uh, like little kids will say this. They'll say they'll say what's shaking, bacon. Okay. And it just it's a silly thing to say. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just because bacon and shaken rhyme together. And so children like to say that. What's shaken bacon? And bacon is um it's a type of meat. It's uh pork. Pork. Uh mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. It's pig. Pardon? It's pig. Pork. Pork. Yeah, yeah, it's pig. pig. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It's the little it's bacon strips. It's like little pieces of meat that are fried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what uh, other questions do you have? Hang in there. Yeah, <laughs> hang in there. Okay, let's yes. see. Let's go down to the bottom. I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hang in there. That don't means... Give, don't, don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Hang in there. You, you, can, you can make it through. You can do this. Okay, thanks. Uh-huh. What other questions do you have? Uh, I have... Uh, uh, she got really w worked up. Mm hmm She got really worked up. Worked up. Okay, let me go. Let me find that one. Aha. I forgot her anniversary. She got really worked up about it. That means that she she Gets was mad. very yeah, she was mad. very overwhelmed, very mad, very angry, very emotional. Mm -hmm. If you get worked up, it's like it's it's a, a lot of emotions going on. Angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, angry. angry. Good. And if, if you want to tell someone to calm down, you can say, don't get so worked up about it. Calm down. It's okay. Good. What other questions do you have? I don't have high hopes. That means I don't have uh, any hope. Correct. Yeah, I don't have any expectations. I have zero hope. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't have high hopes. Yeah. What else? Hey, get it off your chest. Okay. Let me scroll up. Um, you sound down. Do you want to get it off your chest? That means, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to share it? Yeah. Share do you? Do you want to share it and sure, yes. and take the burden or the anxiety away? Do you want to get it off your chest? Yes. Good. Get out your problems and uh, let's talk about it. Uh huh. Exactly. Good. Yeah. It's what like moving questions? a mountain. Uh, <laughs> we we say the same thing in Arabic. D to get it off your chest. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What other questions do you have? Okay. You sound down. That mean uh, lost or uh, yeah, it, it means uh, more like sad. You sound yeah. sad. You sound down. Mm -hmm. You don't you like have... normal. Uh uh. We can also say down in the dumps. But that's to be mm. really sad. Mm -hmm. Don't need the yeah. What other questions do you have? Okay. So now I'd like two student volunteers to read aloud the parts of Andrew and John. I. Okay. Let's have Amar. Can you be Andrew? And Ahmed. Uh, you can be John. Okay. Hello. Andrew, hi, it's John. Hey, what's shaking? 
Not much. You sounds down. Do you want to get it off your chest? Yeah, I need to bend your ear. What's the matter? Things aren't going well with Amy. I think I broke her heart. What did you do? I forgot our anniversary. She got really worked up about it. Good. Oh, man. So what happened? Did she get off over it? Over did it? Did she get over it? Did she get well, over I took, it? Good. Well, I took her out to dinner the next night. And how did it go? It was okay, but things have the, a different feel now. I don't have a high heels. High hopes. High hopes, good. I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hang in there. Good, good pronunciation. Do I have two more student volunteers that would like can to I read? Can I go? I can. Yeah, can okay. I, can I read? Yeah, Abdallah, you can be Andrew. And okay. who else? Can I? Yeah, Florencia. Let's have you be um, John. So go ahead. Okay. Hello? Andrew, how? It's on. Hi, what's shaking? Not much. You sound down. Do you want to get it out of your chest? Okay. Yeah, I need to ban your ear. What's the matter? Things are going well with Amy. I think I broke her heart. What did you do? I forgot our anniversary. She got really worked up about it. Oh man, so what happened? Did she get over it? Well, I took her out to dinner the next, the next night. Okay. And how, it, how did it go? It was okay, but things have a different feel now. I don't have high hopes. I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hang in there. Good, excellent. All right, and did I have two more volunteers? Can I read? Hi, Harry. All right, let's have Ash. You okay. can be Andrew, and Yasin. You can be John. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Hello. Andrew, hi. It's John. Hey, what's shaking? Not much. It's not done. Do you want to get it off your chest? Yeah, I need to bend your ear. What's the matter? Things aren't going well with Emmy. I think I broke her heart. What did you do? I forgot I forgot our anniversary. She got really worked up about it. Oh man, so what happened? Did she get over it? Well, I took her out to dinner the next night. And how did it go? It was okay, but things have a different feel now. I don't have Hi, Pops. I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hanging there. Thank you, Asla. Good. And was there anyone else who'd like to read? Could I read? Yeah, go ahead, Layla, and anyone else? Okay, Layla, you can be Andrew and I'll be John. So go ahead. Okay. Hello? Andrew, hi, it's John. Hey, <clears throat> what is shaking? Not much. You sound down. And do you want to get it off your chest? Yeah, I need to bend your ear. What's the matter? Things aren't going well with Amy. I think I broke her heart. What did you, what did you do? I forgot our anniversary. She got really worked up about it. Oh man, so what happened? Did she get over it? Well, I took her out to dinner the next night. And how did it go? It was okay, but things have a different feel now. I don't have high hopes. I'm sorry to hear that John hang in there. Good, excellent. Okay, so now as a class, anyone and everyone can blurt out the answers. Let's go over these comprehension questions. So number one, how did John sound on the phone? Sound down. down. Yeah, he sounded miserable. down. Miserable. Yeah, miserable. Very sad, very distraught. He's down. Mm-hmm, he's down. Number two, did John break Amy's heart? 
Yes. 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 He did. He did. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> what did John forget about? Their anniversary. The, their anniversary. Their anniversary. Uh -huh. Her anniversary. Yeah, their one year anniversary. Good. And number four, when did John take Amy out to dinner? After the crisis. Yeah. The uh, day after, after he the forgot. Problem. Uh huh. Yeah, the day after he forgot. So the day after their anniversary. Good. After, after his mistake. Yeah, after his mistake. Excellent. All right. So now, um, here, I'm going to put this on the next page so it's all in one place. We're going to match the idioms on the left with their definitions on the right. So here, these were the bolded phrases that were in the dialogue. Number one, what's shaken? Number two, be down. Number three, bend one's ear. Number four, what's the matter? Number five, break one's heart. Number six, worked up. Number seven, get over it. Number eight, how did it go? Number nine, have a different feel. Number 10, high hopes. Number 11, hang in there. And number 12, get it off no, one step. And here, um, these are the definitions on the right. So letter A, to hurt someone's feelings regarding love. B, expecting the best, hoping for success. C, to talk to someone. D, what's wrong? E, to be angry. Uh, F, to be odd oops, this is, or unusual. G, to be sad. H, to stay strong, to not give up. I, what is happening in your life? J, to talk about a problem. K, to forget or forgive. And L, what happened? So let's start with the first student, please. Um, Abdallah, number one. If someone says, what's shaken? What are they saying? What's ha what is happening in your life? Good. I, what is I. happening in your life? Excellent. And let's do Ahmed, number two, to be down. Uh, G, to be sad. Good. To be down is to be sad. And Amar, number three, bend one's ear. I think it is a C to talk to someone. Yep, C to talk to someone. Good job. And then we have Ash, number four, please. What's the matter? Mm, of course, D, what's wrong? Mm, let's see, D, what's wrong? Good. And then um, we have Florencia, five, yes. to break one's heart. To hurt someone's feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, regarding love. Good. And then uh, Layla, number six, please, worked up. To be angry. Mm -hmm. E, to be angry. Mm. Number seven, to get over it. Uh, Saif? Yes. If someone says, get over it, what are they saying? Get over it. Uh, uh, get over it. It's... Uh, to be uh, angry? No, so if you if you get over it, if you get over a problem, it forget. is letter K. Yeah, What's wrong? Or to forgive. So if you get over it, either, either you forgot about it or you just forgive it. You get over it. You move on. You don't care anymore. Get over it. What about Yasin, number eight? How did it yeah. go? Uh, what happened? It? Uh huh. L. What happened? Good. Um, back to the beginning. Abdullah, number yes. nine. Have a different feel. If something has a different feel. Expecting the best, hoping for success. Mm, there's a better match. If something to doesn't feel right, if it has a different feel. Here, to be odd? Yeah, to be odd or unusual, F. Let's look at it in context up above. 
it said, John, it was okay, but things have a different feel now. So things are kind of odd. They're unusual. They don't feel right. Does that make sense? Abdullah? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, so let's go on to Ahmed, um, number 10, High Hopes. Uh, B, expecting the best, hoping for success. Uh-huh, good. And number 11, Amar, hang in there. H, to stay strong, to not give up. Good. Mm -hmm. To stay strong, to not give up. You can say, hang in there, and it's words of encouragement. Good. And then Ash, the last one, please, number 12. Get it off one's chest. So, uh, rest of all, um, to talk to someone now. Mm -hmm. To get it, it off means one's it's chest. Talk about a problem? Mm -hmm. J, yeah, to talk about a problem. Good. Are there any questions about these idioms and their definitions? All good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to fill in the blanks below in this exercise with the idioms from above. So let's start with um, Florencia, number one. Justin thought he did well on his test. He had blank. Mm. High hopes. Good. Yeah, he had high hopes because he... um. If you go to the definition, he was expecting the best, hoping for success. Good. And number two, Kyle said his new house... Oh, hold on one second. Let me... Number two, Kyle said his house had a blank than his old house. Um, let's see, uh, Layla. Mm, accepting the best, hoping to... Mm. Okay. Can I answer? Oh, let's give Layla a moment. Hold on. Okay. Kyle said his new house had a blank than his old house. Do you know what it uh, is, Layla? No. Let's have Abdallah. What is it? Different feeling. Uh-huh. Had a different feeling than his old house. So his new house, it doesn't feel right. It feels unusual or odd or off compared to his old house. Good. Exactly. All right. Let's have um, Saif, number three, please. Ashley's fish died, so she was blank all week long. Yes, um, <coughs> Ashley's fish died, uh, so she was she was break once hurt, once hurt and talks to his to his death. So it's saying Ashley's fish died. She was very sad all week long. What's another word for sad? Down. Yes. Down. Yeah, she was down all week. She was very bummed. She was sad about it. Be down. Mm -hmm. uh, she was down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yasin, yeah, number four. Darren okay. feels better when he blank and talks but to his dad. Darren feels better when he uh, walks there and talks to his dad. When he what? Bands, band wants here. Uh, three. Mm, let's see. Um, it might be better. It might be a better fit. Um, mm. I think the better fit when he gets oops yeah. gets it off his chest. To his uh, dad. Mm -hmm. And talks to his dad. I think that one might be the better fit here. Uh, oh, oh, yes. All right. Let's go to Abdullah. Number five, please. My nephew gets blank when his friends are mean to him. Gets over it. 
I think the better one would be he gets worked up. Worked up, yes. Mm -hmm. He gets kind of angry and annoyed. He gets very emotional when his friends are mean to him. Yes. Number six, you're crying. Blank. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? What's the matter? Or uh, was that? I think it was. Um, yeah, what's the matter? Ah. And number seven, I know things are going badly, but blank. It will get better soon. Ahmed? Hang in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, hang in there. It will get better soon. Good. Don't, don't lose faith. Yeah, yes. don't lose faith. Hang in there. You'll be okay. Good. Are there any other questions about this, about this lesson or the dialogue or the idioms? Any questions? Yes, it's in, it, it was a good exercise, but uh, if we have a chance to have another one like this. You want another one like this? Yes, in order to burn these uh, idioms in our head. Bad. Yeah, definitely. So tomorrow I have um, three, three um, lessons back to back. That means in a row. Um, and this lesson right here is number 16. Tomorrow I'm going to do 17, 18, and 19. And next week, number 20, which is the last one in this series. So if you can join, it's around the same time that we are right now, but it'll be tomorrow. Okay, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. And if you, here's my, um, my Facebook page. I'm putting it in the Verbling chat, in the Google chat. If you go there, I've posted the other lessons in this series. So number 1 through 15, it's, it's all there. If you want to look at the documents or the videos, you can watch that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, no problem. Um, Marciela just wrote in the, um, the verbling chat here. Marciela, this is my Facebook page. You can access these idioms through the documents that I've posted. This is great. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what is the difference between what's shaking and what's the matter? Between what? What's the matter and what's shaking? What's yes. shaken is um, is more informal, and it's, you you say it to someone when they're in a good mood, a good mood. What's shaken? But if someone is clearly sad or if they're not having a good day, you could say, "What's the matter? What's happening?" Okay. And that's and being uh, more more polite uh, to them. If you say, "What's shaken?" and they're crying, that that's not a good thing. That's going well. Okay, mm -hmm. it's uh, like uh, what's up. What's shaking? Yeah, yes. what's up? What's shaking? Yeah, you would say that. Um, How's it going? Informally, uh huh, uh huh. But if someone is clearly sad, you could say, "What's ha what's happening? What happened?" Yes, mm -hmm. it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much better. Good. Any other questions? No. Oh, always nice to be in your class. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> There is a word that uh, you uh, you out in uh, the ch uh, verbling chat box, prevenance, I, I guess. Wait, Could what did you, you say? There is a word. Oh yeah, uh, perseverance. Uh -huh. yeah. Perseverance. Uh -huh. perseverance. Yes. Could you please uh, repeat uh, the definition? Yeah, sure. So perseverance. Let's see. Did I spell it right in the verbling chat? Yeah. It's um. It's to do something despite its difficulty or delay in achieving success. So if you have a lot of perseverance, you have a goal in mind, and you're going to, you're going to accomplish it no matter what. No matter what, what mm -hmm. you do, yes. Mm -hmm. No matter how difficult it's going to be in order to achieve it, you're never going to, you're never going to give up hope. You're going to keep on persevering. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. I, I guess there, there is a proverb uh, in that meaning. I don't, I don't know it in English. Uh, okay. Yeah, if yeah, you have uh, perseverance, it's to never give up. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, teacher, uh, yeah. how long have you been uh, teaching in uh, Verbling? Um, I've been teaching, I think, for two months. 
Yeah, what month is it right now? It's it's still, oh, it's the last day of February. February. Tomorrow's February. March. Oh, wow, look at yes. that. Um, awesome. Yeah, I started what teaching in January. Here it's um, 11 a.m. 11, it's uh, in Canada, I guess, no? Or uh, United States. Uh-huh, I'm in, I'm in um, California, so yeah, it's the same. Well, Canada is a very large country that has four like, different time like zones. Like USA, yes. Mm -hmm. Like USA, four yeah. different time. Do you recommend it? Do I recommend Verbling? Uh, no, do you recommend to come to California? To oh, yes. It? Oh, yeah, definitely. California's the best. Look, I'll show you. out. Look at my window right now. Look, it's so sunny. Yeah. Nice. Gorgeous. California nice. California's yep. great. <laughs> you have a lot of green space there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot yeah, of green yeah. space. Yeah. And gardens. Definitely. Yeah, if, if any of you get the chance it's to come to California, I highly suggest it. It's yeah, a great it's state. It's not a polluted uh, city. No, it's not polluted. Mm -mm. Well, okay. LA, Los Angeles is, but San Francisco, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here in Saudi Arabia, all snow. Yeah, all snow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds freezing. I can't no, do it. No, no, not bridge. snow, not snow. No. Uh, <laughs> Sun sunshine. Summer, summer. summer. Oh, summer. summer. Ah, okay, good. No, no. Uh, also in Morocco, it's, su world. it's uh, not summer. Uh, sunshine. Spring? Is it springtime? Spring, yeah, mm -hmm. it's springtime. Mm -hmm. uh, the air conditioner is uh, 24 hours. Oh, it's wow, it's, it's that warm already? It's the opposite <laughs> of uh, snow. Yeah. <laughs> Good. My world is uh, sand, not snow. <laughs> yeah, sand, not snow. <laughs> All right, well, um, uh, what more do classes. They, uh, what? Uh, what do they call the Red Bridge? In your uh, sand? Uh, gold, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, the, the, Golden the Golden Gate. Gate. I'll write it here. The, the Golden what? The Golden Gate Bridge. Gate Bridge. Bridge. That's the red orange one, the famous one. Mm -hmm. All right, the um, the next set of classes, not not taught by me, but my other colleagues, my other verbling teachers, are going to start in one minute. So if you guys want to join in on those classes, I suggest you do it. Okay, thank you. It was you. really great to have you. Thank you so much for participating. Yes. Thank you. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.